Hi, I'm John Waters, and I'm here at City Lights Bookshop in San Francisco. And I'm going to read from one of many banned books. This is Lady Chatterley's Lover that was prosecuted for obscenity in many, many countries, which is a little hard to believe once you hear this. He took her in his arms again and drew her to him, and suddenly she became small in his arms, small and nestling. It was gone, the resistance was gone, and she began to melt in a marvelous peace. And as she melted small and wonderful in his arms, she became infinitely desirable to him. All his blood vessels seemed to scald with intense yet tender desire for her, for her softness, for the penetrating beauty of her in his arms passing into his blood. And softly, with that marvelous, swoon-like caress of his hand and pure soft desire, softly he stroked the silky slope of her loins down, down between her soft, warm buttocks, coming nearer and nearer to the very quick of her. And she felt him like a flame of desire, yet tender, and she felt herself melting in the flame. She let herself go. She felt his penis risen against her with silent, amazing force and assertion. And she let herself go to him. She yielded with a quiver that was like death. She went all open to him. And oh, if he were not tender to her now, how cruel, for she was all open to him and helpless. She quivered again at the potent and in inexorable entry inside her, so strange and terrible. It might come with the thrust of a sword in her softly open body, and that would be death. She clung in a sudden anguish of terror. But it came with a strange, slow thrust of peace. The dark thrust of peace and a ponderous, primordial tenderness, such as made the world in the beginning. And her terror subsided in her breast. Her breast dared to be gone in peace. She held nothing. She dared to let go everything, all herself, and be gone in the flood. And it seems like she was the sea. Nothing but dark waves rising and heaving, heaving with a great swell so, so that slowly her whole darkness was in motion, and she was ocean, rolling its dark, dumb mass. Oh, and far down inside her the deeps parted and rolled asunder in a long, far-traveling billows, and ever at the quick of her the depths parted and rolled asunder from the center of soft plunging as the plunger went deeper and deeper touching lower, and she was deeper and deeper and deeper disclosed, and heavier the billows of her rolled away to some shore, uncovering her, and closer and closer plunged the palpable unknown. The further and further rolled the waves of herself away from herself, leaving her, till suddenly, in a soft, shuddering convulsion, the quick of all her plasm was touched. She knew herself touched. The consummation was upon her. And she was gone, she was gone, and she was not, and she was born a woman.